Hello, good morning, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I come from China Mobile. China Mobile. Uh, in this presentation, I will introduce you some uh, test framework proposal in China Mobile uh, Non-Net project. First, uh, this is the agenda of my presentation. Uh, first, I will introduce uh, the background, uh, and then uh, we will introduce some uh, non-net project in China Mobile. Uh, I don't know where you know the non-net project. In fact, it is the NFV project in China Mobile. The third one, I will introduce the most important thing is our automatic integration verification framework. Uh, first is about the background. Uh, as you know, uh, if we mentioned the, the test framework, first uh, uh, we should uh, take a talk about the uh, evolution about the telecom development architect. Uh, at the left side, it is the uh, traditional deployment architect. Uh, you may see many VNF uh, application deploy on the dedicated platform. This is the dedicated hardware. But the mode is changed from the vertical mode to the shared mode. What means shared mode? That means we will provide the common hardware, the x86 hardware. And based on the hardware, we will provide the common cloud platform. And above this, we will use the virtualization technologies deployment every kind of VNF applications. For example, the VoIT, IMS, IMS, and the EPC, and others. So this is the change about telecom deployment. As you know, uh, in, in above architect, we have we also uh, also with the test method have the evolution. Uh, above at above is about is a traditional test. This is our traditional device, telecom device. If we want to test this device, we should have lots of around the device do the integration test. During this test, uh, most of all we will depend on our vendors who provide the device. So the test method has evolution. This is now in the cloud, in the third mode uh, platform, how to do the test. Uh, this is the NFV decoupling test architect. As you know, this is our uh, cloud platform. Uh, we will test all the VNF which is provided by different vendors. So you may see the test method is different from the traditional to the current. So uh, what, uh, next one, I will introduce our practice in China Mobile, how to do the test in our NFA project, Novnet project. Uh, most, mostly, we will do two works, uh, two jobs. One is deployment, uh, another is test. This is the architect. Uh, in this architect, uh, I will introduce the process, what we, will, uh, what we have done during our non-net project. This is the architect of ETSI reference. Uh, at the bottom is the x86 hardware. Above that is TIC. Uh, uh, TIC is uh, uh, telecom integrated cloud cloud form, cloud uh, platform, uh, which means the WIM and hyperwire. Uh, this is the SDN controller, and this is the WNF run on the TIC platform, and this is the manual orchestrator. Uh, except these components, we still have many interfaces, uh, three kind of interface. First one is uh, uh, the, re the red one is the interface which will uh, uh, it means some uh, API interface. Uh, 
this red one. And the second one, the green one is the stand, standard platform. For example, every VNF means the virtual machine and will deploy on the TIC cloud, form, cloud platform. And uh, the third one is uh, the plugin. Plugin means, for example, uh, every S Ding controller will provide a plugin in the OpenStack cloud form. Okay, this is the architect. Uh, in our product, uh, in fact, we do lots of deployment at test. Uh, at the right side, uh, we do SaaS um, deployment and test. First is the TIC deployment and test. Uh, in, this, uh, in this item, we do the uh, WIM deployment. And uh, during this process, uh, we should, uh, we should um, solve some problems. For example, the adaption uh, between the hardware and the cloud. And then we will do the ver uh, verification. Uh, this one. Uh, we will do some function test, performance test, reliability test, and option test. Uh, after the TIC deployment and test, we, we should do the SDN deployment and test. And first, uh, we will do SDN deployment and do some SDN controller function test and do the SDN and the NFC combination. After SDN development and test, we will install uh, many kinds of VNF and do the VNF deployment at the test. After that, also we will do the test about uh, uh, the manual test or the Twitter test. This is the whole process about uh, in our non-net project. We will do such kind of deployment at test. Next one, I will give you the detailed information about uh, our test about every component. This one is uh, TIC deployment and test. Uh, as you know, if we want to do the TIC uh, deployment, first uh, we should do some network architect design. Uh, as you know, this is the architect, deployment architect uh, in every uh, OpenStack uh, platform. Uh, maybe different vendor provide different uh, OpenStack solutions, but mostly we should uh, include such kind of uh, architect. For example, these are the different node, controller node, and uh, network node, computer node. Uh, maybe also you still have some storage nodes which provide the distributed storage. Uh, except this node, we still have some network plane. For example, the main uh, administrat administrative plane and some application network and some storage network and so on. So when we do the deployment, first we should do the network architect design. And then we should, uh, we should do the server design. Uh, of course, we will use, uh, we will uh, in our all the architect, we uh, include many kinds of nodes, ins installation nodes, controller nodes, compute nodes, and storage nodes. After that, we still do the HA design. For example, in the controller node, we will provide many OpenStack services. We, will pr we should provide the HA, uh, HA solutions for these pr uh, services. After the deployment, we will do the TIC test. First, we should do the function test, for example, affinity or anti-affinity, and so on. Uh, after that, uh, it's about the performance test. Uh, as you know, uh, VNF needs high performance, so we use many kinds of performance technologies, for example, SLIV, DPDK, NUMA, uh, and uh, the OAS enhancement, uh, and so on. And we, we still do some computing elastic and reliability test. In our reliability, we do the test about, uh, uh, we emu emulate some fault. For example, the different node fault. 
um, you may <coughs> we have different uh, node roles. Some some node uh, is a controller node, and uh, uh, some one is a computer node. Some one is storage node. We will do the default test on all these nodes, and also we do tests about a different network fault. And the last one, we will do the operation management. Uh, for example, the update and alarm. So this this are our peak deployment and test. After that, we will do the uh, in the architect. As you know, we should do the SDN deployment and test. Uh, this this is the SDN architect in our uh, in China Mobiles in China Mobiles Novnet project. Uh, this is Open O. But now uh, it is uh, <coughs> combined with the AT&T Ecom as ONAP, uh, and this is the Augur Twitter uh, globally. Uh, this, these are two ticks, uh, the core tick and the add tick. Uh, as, as you know, we have many ticks in China Mobile's normal net project, and we deploy many ticks uh, in different provinces and in our center. A data center. So these are two ticks, core tick and add tick. And uh, mostly the uh, control plane, uh, this, this is the flow about the control plane, this is the flow about the forward plane. Uh, many, <coughs> you may say the tick interaction based on SDN. So SDN, uh, first SDN will do some, um, do some connection uh, between ticks. For example, uh, no matter uh, between the core tick and the add tick. Uh, another one, it, the SDN will do some data, um, do some network flow uh, in, the, in every ticks. Uh, so, uh, as you know, we will do the SDN deployment and SDN test. For SDN deployment, first we should install the SDN controller. And then we will install the SDN gateway. Uh, after that, we will <coughs> the these two components is outside the cloud platform, but this these two ones is inside the uh, OpenStack platform. We will do uh, we will change uh, the network uh, from the default design in Neutron to the SDN. We will install SDN plugin in the, in the controller node, and also we will do some uh, OS update according to the SDN solutions. This is the SDN deployment, and after that we we'll do the SDN test. Uh, first, we we will do the basic network function test, and then we will do the security group test, the uh, band, uh, bandwidth. Te limited test, uh, network traffic, uh, statistic, and so on, all kinds of uh, SDN test. Uh, this is uh, our T T uh, our SDN deployment and test. After that, we will do the VNF deployment and test. I don't know, this is, this is all the, uh, all the VNF applications we will test uh, in China Mobile. Um, the, at first, uh, is, uh, we do the test about uh, NB-IoT, which is uh, EPC, uh, CPE test, uh, E-bound test, uh, and uh, IMS test. Uh, these tools uh, are deployment uh, on our phase two. Uh, you mean the different VNF on the same tick and uh, uh, are treated by the manual. We will test uh, all this VNF and first do deployment, and then do test. Next phase, I will uh, give you an example about the VNF deployment and test. Uh, I will take the CPE, uh, VCPE deployment and test as an example. This is, this is the architect of CPE. As, as you know, uh, in CPE, this, uh, this one's uh, hardware. Uh, they will deploy the deployment outside of our TIC, of our platform. Uh, and this one will deploy it in our TIC platform. 
uh, this this one is deploy on the eighth tick, and the, and this manner deploy on the code tick. Uh, but we have the connection between the around the device to the device in our tick platform. So, uh, uh, as mentioned in the VCP deployment, first uh, we should do the physical equipment equipment and the simulator deployment. Uh, th this kind of device. And the second, we will do the SCP deployment on the on the our, our on our cloud platform. Then we will um, make the connection uh, through network between the brass and the SCP. This is the deployment network. After that, we will do the test. For example, the we have life cycle management, business flow uh, classification, and marking, uh, SCP basic function test. For example, uh, in our cloud, this VNF will have different functions, uh, net function, DCP function, or DNS function, or PPOE function, <coughs> such kind of VNF applications. And also, we will do lots of uh, value-added business test. This is uh, the VNF deployment test. Although we have many kinds of uh, VNF application tests from many vendors, but the process, deployment, and test may be the same. OK, I will, after uh, introduce about the process of our uh, deploy our deployment at test. I will give you, uh, you may see the total process is about uh, is from the TIC deployment and test, the SDN deployment and test, VF deployment and test, manual deployment test. This is the process in our normal net project we, ha we already have done. Mm, this is our architect, uh, hardware architect. As you know, we have, we, uh, in our <coughs> project, we involved uh, six, uh, six vendors uh, open stack solution. And uh, this, this is our data center. We have multi ticks. And uh, we also have the uh, multi racks, which is uh, uh, the other test equipment. Mm. For our test equipment, uh, we have the uh, TIC test equipment. Uh, for example, network test uh, instrument, software test tools, uh, emulation tools. Uh, for SDN test, uh, we have some SDN controller gateway. Uh, for VNF test, uh, we have some physical equipment uh, instruments, instrumentation from ESA or Sprint, other emulation tools. All this. Uh, test equipment de deploy on these areas. And also we should do the interconnection between the ticks and the other device, uh, around the device. So uh, we should do the in interconnection, uh, interconnection. OK, that's all work we have already done. But how about the integration test architect? We will we have some deep thinking about it. Uh, at the bottom, this is we have done the TIC basic environment, and based on the TIC basic environment, uh, as you know, we have do the development, configuration, and the test uh, on all the components. But how about the integration architect? We, during our, uh, during our work, our jobs, we, um, we summarize the integration architect, and uh, uh, we do the integration process, and uh, find uh, lots of the verification tools. All these things consist our integration architect. But about that, we still have new things. We will build the development Architect include the VNF optimi optimization and the VNF optimization. 
as you know, the VF have the evolution, generation by generation. So we should build a process to enhance uh, to enhancement our integration test. So this this is the evolution. You may say uh, the NFV process is also a CICD. At the left side, you may see the TIC development uh, include hardware, WIM, SDN, VNF, MANO, which, cons which consists of the ETSI architect. Maybe this component is provided by different vendors. After their de deployment, they will, they will uh, uh, after their development, they will deployment on our platform and do TIC integration verification. For, for example, uh, many kinds of component. After that, it will be deployed on the production and go to production. In production, we will find lots of problem, problem issues and they will feed back to the development. So this is a circle. Wrong, wrong and wrong. So uh, we will, in this, in this process, uh, traditional, uh, the carrier operator will depend on the vendors. Most of the test, integrated test, is depend on the vendors who provide the VNF, uh, who provide the um, telecom device. But now, the rule is changed. The, car the carrier itself should take the role of, uh, should take the responsibility of integration. This is the change, our integration test change. Uh, as you know, next step, uh, we, will, um, we will try OpenFE architect as a reference. Mm. You, Sorry. Here, uh, this is the open NFA reference. Uh, we have uh, we have the Jenkins master and the Jenkins sleeve, and do the installation. Uh, for example use the Compass Docker and uh, do some test, uh, use the test tools, uh, for example, uh, phone test and yard disk. Uh, about that, we still have some, some customized test case. We will use, uh, uh, we will <coughs> integrate integrated this uh, uh, test case to the uh, framework. And we also will use some um, verification uh, tools to verify uh, uh, the platform. But, uh, but because, uh, as you know, the open FA now uh, some, some kind of test uh, is not involved in open FA architect, uh, we will take it as a reference and do some enhancement to use this open FA tools. Um, uh, this is our plan, and we will do some, um, do some test. Uh, uh, after um, <coughs> in our next uh, phase in non-net project. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Yes, hello, thank you. <laughs> Presentation. Um, in your plan, uh, with the test uh, cycles uh, for the different components of uh, your deployment, the VNFs, the VIM, uh, MANO, and so forth, do you intend um, to make upgrades into production uh, only for all components in one tested group, or do you intend to be able to move um, new 
versions into production, let's say for VNF or for SDN control independently? Okay. Uh, in fact, now we uh, will have do some uh, uh, do some test. Uh, not uh, uh, <coughs> uh, we build the non-net product. Uh, we uh, we see the future of the uh, we have the future mission of the Sand Mobile's NFA evolution. So this is the first phase. First phase we will do the test in our lab and in. Uh, in many of uh, in many province uh, site, uh, so I just now I introduce I introduce the process what we have done, but I think uh, now we will do the test framework proposal, uh, which will <coughs> deploy the, our production. Um, for example, next phase uh, we will push the VNF NFV to the production. And we use, uh, we plan to use uh, such kind of test framework to the production. But now it is only the lab test. Okay. Any other question? Are you leveraging OpenStack Tempest for any of your verific verifications and then have you extended it to do any VNF testing? Uh, you mean uh, the VNF test in this circle? Yeah, have you, are you using Tempest anywhere? Uh, now we um, we not use the Tempest, uh, but as you know, uh, next phase we will use. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. In fact, we have. Uh, in fact, in the uh, in the wind test, uh, we use uh, uh, for the um, API interface test. We use Tempest, uh, and um, but uh, you know, uh, different vendors, uh, different TIC OpenStack solution providers uh, have uh, have the different test result. Uh, as you know, the Tempest uh, test case is about more than 100 uh, test cases, and we have to do the test on different vendors. Uh, most uh, mostly. Uh, what we need in FA applications, uh, the one uh, the wonders solution, uh, the wonders open stack solution past the uh, time pass test. Okay. Okay. What kind of uh, languages are you using here in your deployment configuration tests? And yes, deployment configuration and test. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, the test we uh, we contains the basic function test. Uh, Performance test, uh, uh, reliability test, uh, uh, oper operation test, uh, such kind of test. But uh, most of our test is focused on the features which we will use in the NFV applications. Okay, thanks. You talk about six vendors for all NFV ecosystem. This six vendors is only for BNF. Or are all, for example, for hardware, for for Veeam, for another. Uh, for all kinds of components. All, all of components. Yes. And another question is, how how many vignettes vendors have you got? Approximately two, one, three. Uh, okay. Uh, this. Is, this kind of VNF. This is NB-IoT. For example, NB-IoT could be one vendor, CP could be another vendor. You have in your deploy many vendors for VNFs, or uh, only, only, only one brand? Uh, yes, we have many vendors. For example, we have three vendors provide the NB-IoT solutions, and uh, three vendors provide CPE. We uh, in fact, m most, uh, uh, most of the vendors want to take part in our non-net project. We choose uh, three, uh, three vendors involved in our project, uh, do some test. Uh, uh, we think after we integration test, we will do the, um, the standard integration process. And then other vendors uh, will take part in, participate in our integration and uh, follow the standard 
uh, for a standard uh, integration uh, integration flow. So you have an integrator partner to do all the tests, or only only China Mobile do as as own. Mm, now, mm, in fact, we uh, we only choose some vendors uh, to test, not the fixed vendors. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay, thank you to come here to <coughs> my presentation. Uh, I think uh, uh, after the presentation, if you have some question, you may con contact me. Okay, thanks.